We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Clone Wars Thursday throwback. We're looking at Quinlan Voss, my equal favorite Jedi in the entire Star Wars universe. He is only outmatched. No, no, he's not even outmatched. He's level. He is my number one Jedi along with Plo Koon. It's just, it's just the way it is. I don't have a say in the matter. The heart wants what the heart wants, and my heart wants Quinlan Voss and Plo Koon to have an adventure series, a buddy cop series together. I think it would be fantastic. Quinlan Voss being a uh, slightly nefarious rogue he is, and Plo Koon being, you know, the sort of wizened Jedi master, but still able to still able to deal with Quinlan's BS. Um, <laughs> now, so what we do have here is finally, after a couple of weeks without packaging and cards, we have exactly that great picture of Quinlan Voss. Um, only did appear in one episode in season two's episode Hunt for Zero, but he was destined to have a double story arc in like the seventh or eighth season. As it was as it was being planned back before the, uh, the the cancellation of the Clone Wars back in 2013, um, that book later became Dark Disciple by Christy Golden. I think I'm just trying to look around. Uh, I can't see. I think it was Christy Golden. Anyway, it's it's Dark Disciple that was adapted into a novel um, from what was rumoured to be eight episodes, two different story arcs. Um, and that's it's still my favourite book in Star Wars history. Um, yeah, it's such an incredible story, especially if you're a Clone Wars fan. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely one you need to check out. So here we got Quinlan Voss hunts for an escaped prisoner. The rebellious Jedi teams up with Obi-Wan Kenobi to search for Zero the Hutt, who has escaped from prison with the help of Cad Bane. Voss and Kenobi must get over their differences and work together if they hope to capture Zero and Bane and avoid an untimely end. You can see there, includes Speederboard. Each figure has a unique card. Collect them all, each sort separately. Um, some other ones. Did review Embo just a couple of weeks ago. There's Boba Fett. Undead Gene Ocean, that's one I don't have yet. And Clone Trooper Dra, that's another one I do have. Yeah, Undead Gene Ocean, that's one I never never grabbed back in the day. So let's put that back there. We'll get a look at the card. And great little still of Quinlan there. Look at that force ability, 14. What a guy. Luck, four. In his experience, there's no such thing as luck. There are the rules to the Galactic Battle Game. I was almost going to say Galactic Battle Game. But that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so let's take a look at the figure. Now, there is one little thing here I would like to explain. I don't have the original lightsaber. This lightsaber came with the vintage collection, Quinlan Voss. Or was it the, the comic pack one? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was the vintage collection one. This one came with quite a long lightsaber hilt. It was about... Twice the length, and that's because there was a feature where you get the speeder, the hover speeder. What did they call it on the back of the card? Speeder board. Which, back when I got it, I actually weathered it up a little bit. Um, yeah, I just... I was feeling artistic at the time. And uh, But yeah, the, anyway, the purpose of the long lightsaber was that you could poke it in the front there. And then you could literally just use this as like a harpoon like a stabby skateboard, which is what everybody wants in real life, you know. You know, you get Tony Hawk's Pro Hunter. <laughs> um, and these holes, much too small for sand people. No, these are, um, I actually drilled those holes in it back then because I had these little clear stands and I was able to peg it on there. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know why I drilled two, but... Um, yeah, I was able to put that on there and have him hovering on it for a little while. 
So yeah, that's the purpose of the lightsaber. I think this speeder board came again with a clone trooper, um, maybe an aft trooper, I think. If memory serves me correctly. It's just one I didn't get either because this is the only speeder board I have. But the man of the hour, Quinlan Voss. Let's look at this lightsaber. It's sort of very, very simple design, very similar to uh, Qui Gon Jinn's. So it must be a Qui thing. If your name starts with Qui or Queer, you have to have a lightsaber that looks similar to each other. But that's, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, here is the dude, the man, the rebellious. Kifar is his species. He's, you know, mostly human, but uh, humans from Kifar, known as Kifu, or is it the other way around? I can't remember. Anyways, yeah, you know, he's got the uh, suns out, guns out. The dreadlocks, he's got the facial marking. I love the, uh, the like, the five o'clock shadow of the stubble there. You match that up with the uh, image on the card there, and they really captured the, uh, the like the shape and stuff of Quinlan Voss's head, and just you know body sculpt in, in general. It's just why well, I love these Clone Wars figures, man. You know, they just so they just captured that three D model from the show. He got small markings on his arm there. I love his sort of chest armor. Yeah, definitely more of a sort of a utilitarian Jedi outfit as opposed to sort of traditional robes. You know, he's sort of cut the sleeves off. He likes a little bit of a little bit of freedom. He is, a, he is like I says, he is a little bit of a rogue. Sort of does his own thing, um, which is very much why in the Dark Disciple story they. Long story short, it is um, basically getting towards the end of the Clone Wars, and uh, the Jedi are sort of getting desperate. Um, and that just, it really paints a picture of how far the Jedi have fallen throughout the Clone Wars, um, and why their failure really sort of comes back to bite them with their demise. Um, basically they know that Quinlan's a little bit on the, on the edge, you know, skirts on the edge a little bit. He's a little bit of a, a little bit of a rogue and they, the Jedi Council try to recruit him in order to assassinate Count Dooku, um, and, you know, he's got to go through certain channels and and people to get closer to Dooku and, you know, forms alliances. And it's just a really, really good story. He has a, he has a little bit of brush with the dark side, as he does in the, in the old comics. But I did attempt a uh, sort of a live action sort of style Quinlan Voss using a couple of different figures. So using the comic pack, um, I do have the vintage collection Quinlan Voss head. It's just the best head they've done out of the, uh, out of the three and three quarter inch Quinlan Voss figures. I think this one just sort of fits nicely. But yeah, for the most part, the outfit's similar. It's it's obviously from the comic book, so you've got some some differences. He hasn't got the, the clone sort of barbell, shoulder bell, sorry, not barbell. He's got his own sort of thing there, but mostly the outfit's pretty similar. He's got his blaster. I did swap out the legs for... I think that was actually from the Quinlan Voss uh, Phantom Menace figure. Yeah, he has he has the same lightsaber. So maybe I think the long one is with the other version of Quinlan Voss that I have. But yeah, it's uh, you know being a favorite character and not having a definitive sort of three and three quarter inch version of the figure. This gets close. It's animated though, so <laughs> it's not as close as I would like it to be. But uh, yeah, I did do a video on this one quite a few years ago, 
when I when I whipped him up and put him together. But yeah, I'd love to see a you know a more definitive, accurate Quinlan Voss. And we know he survived Order sixty six due to his name being mentioned in Kenobi. You know the Obi Wan Kenobi series when Obi Wan discovers the path. So yeah, it's uh. I'd love to see him brought in at some point. I think he'd be a fantastic character. You know, I mean, he skirts the dark a little bit, you know, a bit of a rogue. But anyway, yeah, really, really do love this guy. He's fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. Let's get him on his uh, speederboard, bro. And do some carving up. Getting some slopes on now, Hutter. Yeah, I like him. Alright, folks, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back next week with another Clone Wars related action figure. That's what Clone Wars Thursday Throwbacks is all about. But until then, May the Force be with you, always.